Hey guys, Craig here. Uh, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to switch the TRX4 from a Bronco over to the new Blazer. Um, one of my last videos, I put all the stickers on it, all the trim pieces, everything. So the body's ready to go now. But uh, yeah, what we're going to do is switch it out from the Bronco. So you've all seen the Bronco. Got the push bumper, all the good stuff on it. So really pretty simple. Um, take this body off. Put the blazer on. And for those of you guys wondering, the blazer body does fit just fine on the chassis. But one thing I did notice, might have to lift up the body posts because you can see I'm touching body right there. Same thing if your wheel's turned back. I'm gonna hit the body. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna have to lift this up a bit. I don't know. I'm not sure if the Blazer has different body mounts um, I really don't know, but it seems like we're, we're getting some body rub up front. I do have the, the wheel spacers that kick the wheels further out. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it, but I'm not sure. Maybe when we get to messing with the tires, we can figure that out. So, uh. First thing we got to do is get rid of these bumpers. I've already taken the screws out of them. Um, all it is, is there's two screws that go here from the top down. That's the front, and they're back here on the rear. You just pull those guys out, and then your bumper will just come right out. Just like that so there's the Bronco and here's the new blazer bumper I thought about using the uh, Bronco bumper but the shape of this one is kind of formed to the body so we'll go ahead and put it on and see how it works so all you do is just slide it in we'll have to adjust it to the right position on the body Same thing in the rear. It's a little bit stuck. It's got a lot of dirt in it. Come on, come on. There we go. There's the old Bronco bumper. Got the new Chevy bumper. So, just slide that in there. Then, put your body back on. Come on, there it is. And then all we'll do is just kind of tighten it up to where it needs to be. So, the back looks pretty good there. Where's the front? What'd I do? Oh, it's hiding under the body. Okay. There we go. See how that fits right along the curve of the body. That's why you can't use the Bronco bumper. I mean, you could, but it's not going to look as good. So, yeah, there it is. That looks pretty damn good. All right, so from here, what we're gonna do is we will have to switch out the tires. Um, the back doesn't seem, well, no, even the back's rubbing. 
So I think what we're gonna have to do is raise these body posts also. So we'll switch out the tires, take a look at those, uh, those hex spacers, and then we may have to raise the body post in there maybe a couple of notches or so to give us a little more clearance. Because right now we are sitting right on the rock guard here. So yeah, maybe if we went up about like that, you can see going up just a little bit how much more clearance it would give us. So let me grab the tires, we'll do that next. All right guys, so I raised up the body posts, uh, but I'm a little confused here. I'm getting body rub, um, you know, on the front tires. I did some research and this is the same exact chassis for the Bronco and for the Blazer. It's the same chassis. The only thing that's different is the body. The wheelbase is the same, everything. Um, so I'm not understanding why I'm getting so much body rub. Here, let me, uh, give me just a second. See, if you kick it up onto something, I mean, we're totally rubbing right there. And it does the same. The wheels turn that way. You're hitting up here on the front pretty hard. So I don't know exactly what's going on here. This is really confusing me. Um, like I said, I do have those spacers, those hex spacers that go behind the wheels. Here, I'll show you. These guys right here. So that's a little bit wider than stock, but I don't know, I'm confused. Um, maybe I'll try taking those off, put the stock ones back on and see what it looks like, but yeah, really weird. I don't know why this would have body rub if it's the same exact chassis. So I'll have to do some more fiddling around real quick and we'll see what we can find out. Uh, one quick note. So while I was doing my study, and these are the tires that came on the Bronco. Now apparently these are just a standard compound tire. The tires that come with the Blazer these are what they call an S1. So these, they're the same tire, same tread and everything, but the ones that come on the Blazer are a better tire. So that's good to know. One other thing I can try is I do have these uh, tires that I bought. They're boggers, they're, they're super soft, but they are skinnier. They're a bit skinnier than the stock tires. Um, maybe we can try them. See if we can avoid some body rub that way. So I'll do a little more fiddling around and see what we can figure out. All right, there it is. The uh, TRX4 Bronco is now a Blazer. I did the stickers on the body in the last video. This video, we mounted the body and the bumpers. Uh, the bumpers look sweet. They fit perfectly on that body. So they did a good job there. Front bumper looks good, nice and tight. <laughs> the only thing I'm still confused about is the body rub. So I took my wheel spacers out, put the stock ones back in, which brought the tires closer to the body, more underneath, and it did help. Um, but I'm still getting wheel rub. Uh, I've got the body posts up as high as they can go. Uh, that also helped, but um, yeah, I'm not sure why that is. I would be curious to see some of you guys that buy the actual Blazer if you have this issue. But um, yeah, that's the only thing I'm confused on. I mean, it's not super bad, but if you get in a crazy, crazy tight position where you're all bottomed out, 
I mean, that's rubbing pretty good right there. So, anyway, I'll look more into that, see if I can figure anything out about it, but, uh, yeah, the Bronco is now the Blazer, and I love it, because I'm a Chevy guy. I wish they would have came out with this first, although I do love the Bronco. It looks awesome, too. So, yeah, I mean, now I can switch them back and forth as I feel like it, and uh, I'll try to get out and give this thing a test run sometime soon. We'll get some, get some climbing videos with the Blazer. So leave some comments below if you know why I'm getting that wheel rub, or if you have the actual new Blazer. I'd love to know if you're getting that same wheel rub. Um, just seems kind of weird to me. These are the exact same chassis, but this body gets rub. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and we'll uh, see you on the next one.